Hi ladies and gentlemen, today I'm at the site of a Second World War airfield. Um, it is RAF Bradwell Bay. Um, Joe's been here and he's taken some photographs, so I'm gonna go and get some footage of what's out here in the fields along the old runway. Um, it was built um, from 1940 over the site of an interwar aerodrome, which is basically just a grass landing strip. Um, unfortunately, there's only this behind us that actually commemorates what used to be here the war memorial but there are a few of the structures remaining out in the fields from the airfield that we're going to go and explore soon. Right, so we're just walking along one of the pathways and believe it or not behind me you've just got this mound of bush but believe it or not it is actually an air raid shelter hidden amongst the undergrowth it's called a stanton air raid shelter and it would have been like a concrete um, curved little room for people to shelter in and at one end it has the entrance at the other end it has an air vent and it would have been obviously buried by a lot of earth back in the day probably to keep it protected from blasts edge of this field now, trying to find the battle headquarters and it was actually um, an underground hideout post basically it would have been used if the airfield actually got invaded by German troops it would have been a kind of final last stand outpost um, the actual bunker the pillbox above ground has been demolished but we think we've found some of the remains of the underground ruins Right, that was impressive actually. That is really cool. I was surprised that this is still here. A bit of a squeeze to get out. But yeah, this is the Battle HQ. And um, obviously the above ground um, bunk has been destroyed, but underground you've still got the tunnels. Unfortunately, they were flooded, so we couldn't really go in there. We haven't got wheelie boots or waders, but it was really cool actually. Right, so we've got a pillbox here by the looks of things. Nothing too special, but they're always interesting to look at. Um, we've got two more pillboxes out along the seawall to check out in a second um, before we go back to the airfield and check out more of that. This is quite an unusual pillbox because you've got 
some kind of steps going into the sheltered entrance in there which isn't too unusual but then over there you've got some sort of concrete sort of storage or hatch area I'm not really sure what that would have been used for on top we've got this little lookout um, air vent actually it's an air vent and that would have been used just to keep the inside of it ventilated Right, so we're walking along the sea wall now. As you can probably tell by my hat, it is very windy. I'm hoping that it's sheltered a bit behind the wall. Behind me here is actually Bradwell Nuclear Power Station. Um, it's a Magnox power station. Don't know what that is, but it's some kind of process used to create nuclear energy. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on us whilst we're here. But next to it along the wall is actually two pillboxes. Um, they are of the Essex lozenges shape. And it's basically a long pillbox that goes through the wall um, both sides. You could enter on one side of the sea wall and face out and shoot out to water on the other side. It's been closed up this pillbox. Um, you would have entered at that end and fired out of that end but the loopholes have been bricked up. So this behind me is one of the original 12 blister hangers that are on the site of RAF Bradwell Bay. Only five of them remain, one of them is abandoned and the others are still used. Um, but they're quite small, they would have stored fighter aircraft um, and a lot of the aircraft that flew from here at RAF Bradwell Bay flew at night.
Right, so I'm actually inside one of these Stanton air raid shelters. Um, there's two of them in this field, and then there's the other one, the overgrown one that we've just looked at. Um, and actually these were made out of two halves of ribbed concrete. Quite a simple construction um, put together, and the bit at the end is a, I suppose it probably an escape hatch in case one exit collapsed. Uh, most air raid shelters have two entrances and exits for that reason. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting little find. So I'm inside the entrance of the second shelter. Um, now, it's quite dark in here. A tree has actually grown over the entrance, so it's quite hard to get in. Um, it doesn't look very different to the previous one. Look at that. So the building I'm inside now is the ancient chapel of St. Peter on the Wall. Um, it was built by the Anglo-Saxons from about 1660 to 1662, and it's actually the 19th oldest building in England. Now, it just so happened, it was actually open. Um, it's just out in the middle of the, of the fields on its own, by the sea in Bradwall, and look at it. It's an absolutely ancient building. Just look at the stonework. I mean, some of this was actually taken from a Roman fort called the Athona Fort that actually um, encompassed the site before the Saxons came along. So this building, some of this material here, dates back to the Roman era. Can you believe that? This is where the chapel actually extended out. Um, obviously, that wall's been put in at a later date, but it still looks very old. So that's going to conclude our trip today. We've seen some great little things at RAF Bradford Bay. We've seen the old um, Saxon Chapel, amazing old structure. And we've just had some hot chocolate and some pasta and finish off the day. Now we've got to drive home, but it's been a good one. Now without further ado, remember to stay tuned. Visit the website beyondthepoint.co.uk to find out more. See you later guys. Happy exploring.